Hey everyone, it's me Donna. In this video I'm going to be talking about a castle mall idea for the town that I live in, Russellville, Alabama. We do not currently have a mall and I really would love to see us get one, but I want us to have one that is going to be successful, that will bring in the customers, uh, that would be a wonderful asset to this area. And I think if it's shaped like a castle, wow. I just think that would be wonderful. It would just it would just be really nice for this area. Uh, I have discussed my ideas for a mall in previous videos. I've come up with different a few different ideas, but I wasn't really satisfied with those. But I really think right now that a castle mall would be a good hit for this area. Uh, my ideal location for this would be where 24 crosses 43 there is an area a wooded area right in there I don't know who owns that land I you know I'm naive about the whole thing so please forgive me for that um, but honestly I think that area would be the perfect location for a, a nice big mall uh, as well as a coliseum, uh, a, a hotel, and maybe some more apartments, some tall uh, apartments, like three, four story apartments. I think it would be nice to have that in that area. Uh, and then, of course, uh, on down, uh, on the other side of the Sloss Lake, I, like I have stated before in other videos, I think having a uh, a theme park would be wonderful you know that would be a wonderful spot for that uh, I won't go into detail about the theme park in this video because I've already discussed it in other videos so if you want to you can can look back at those videos to uh, get the details about that but as for the mall and I've also made, you know, other videos about the mall. I have talked about what I would like to see inside the mall. Uh, you can refer back to my uh, Franklin Mary Mall um, video to get details about that. At that time, I had wanted the mall to be downtown, but as I have thought about it, that's just not a good location. It would just be too uh, jam-packed and just not, the parking would be probably not too good. So I just, you know, I have definitely have to change my uh, train of thought about that um, but I think this area though uh, where 24 crosses 43 there's plenty of room you know you could slap down a big huge parking lot and you can add all these things and it would just be wonderful uh, as I said uh, I think that the if the mall is designed like a castle it would just be wonderful it, and in the castle it can have um, um, towers within in the center part of of the castle. It'd be like four towers in the middle part, and then you have your wings on each side. Um, I just think that's a nice look as far as castles go, and that's where your staircases can be. Uh, and also on the back uh, staircase or tower, that's where the uh, two elevators can be placed to where um, people that, that cannot use stairs and also vendors coming in to take product back and forth between uh, stores, they can use the elevators there. So, yeah. Um, and also on the upper part, the upper two towers, that's from the first floor to the third floor, that can be where the restrooms are. Uh, they can be located within those areas uh, except on the roof um, the bathrooms will be in the uh, the restaurants so yeah but anyway um, but first let me mention again about my idea for a Coliseum I think a Coliseum would be very good for Russellville I think it would bring in quite a bit of money especially if you bring in music entertainment um, plays uh, just you know, just various types of types of stage performances. Um, also, there can be expos like food expos, um, 
there can be gymnastics, there can be uh, um, uh, karate, uh, you know, different types of, of martial arts, um, dance, I mean, you name it. There can be all kinds of different things that can be held in this Colosseum that would be great. Uh, I just think it would bring in quite a bit of money and entertainment for this area. Uh, what would be wonderful is if this Coliseum could be shaped like a broken watermelon. It's broken in half and uh, it's sticking up out of the ground. So the part that's that's broken, like the middle part, will be on the ground and then the the other part will be sticking up and as you will see in my uh, computer drawing I just think that would be a neat look for this because Russellville every year Russellville celebrates uh, watermelons we have a watermelon festival here every year I just think that would fit with the, the theme of this town okay but anyway moving on like I said the hopefully the parking lot would be really really big to where it would provide parking for both the mall, the Coliseum, and the um, the uh, hotel, as well as uh, the apartment complexes. Maybe two apartment complexes that are pretty tall. You know, perfect. Okay, but anyway, back to the mall. Okay, all right, starting with the first floor. Um, if you're facing the mall, to your right, I think it would be nice if in the front part there can be like a Wi-Fi hangout area where people uh, can sit and drink their coffee, bring their computers, uh, and also have an, uh, a Wi-Fi station. And all throughout the mall, on each floor, there can be uh, a Wi-Fi station that you feed with coins, like it would be a public pay Wi-Fi system to where as long as someone feeds this these Wi-Fi stations with coins or dollar bills or whatever, then it will keep the Wi-Fi on and it would be kind of like a public share type thing. And uh, people can come in there and use the Wi-Fi. And that way, you know, both the, uh, the mall and the uh, Wi-Fi people, whoever's uh, the service provider, can make money off this and, and and everybody will get to to enjoy the benefits of it as long as someone feeds it if you know what I mean okay all right and within the the Wi-Fi hangout area there will be a coffee bread and um, confectionery uh, shop it will be sectioned off it will be owned by the same company hopefully now this is just my idea that you know Whoever does this can do whatever they want, but this is just my dream, just something that I thought up in my head. I have come up with this company <laughs> that makes coffee, breads, and confectionaries that are themed around um, mostly birds, but it can be also have uh, other animals as well as certain types of, of foods and stuff. Um the coffees will have certain flavors, and the barista can design uh, the the creams on the coffees a certain way uh, that would make this of interest to the public. Okay, but like I said, it, you know, each department has its own thing. Like the coffee people, they're strictly about coffee. Uh, the bread people are strictly about bread and the confectionery people, they're strictly about their confectionaries. Okay, so there won't be people. In other words, it won't be like some other store out here where uh, one day you have to make bread and the next day you have to make coffee, blah, blah, blah. No, uh, the bread people make their breads. The coffee people deal with their coffee. And that way it doesn't put a hardship on employees. And that way the company and the customer can rest assured that the people working there specialize within that one area so that hopefully they can deliver a really good product. Okay. So anyway, as for the coffees, like I said, the coffees will be mostly themed around uh, birds and fowl and whatever. Uh, for example, there can be like a peacock coffee that will be... Uh, 
I envision it tasting like between a U-Ban coffee and a Dunkin' Donuts coffee, like a medium roast of those types of coffee, uh, uh, mixed with a, um, what did I say? Let me look, let me check right quick what I said with that. Uh, um, oh yeah, um, mixed with a green tea, just just a slight hint of green tea to give give it like a little bit of a different flavor in there. Uh, and of course, the coffee will be dyed green, uh, hence peacock. Um, so it will have like a green dye in it. All right. When the barista makes the coffee, they can um, take the cream. And shape it like a peacock, like the feathers of a peacock. Okay. And that would be, you know, pretty. Or they could uh, put a green whipped topping on your coffee and have blue sprinkles. Because if you'll notice on a peacock, you know, mostly their feathers are green, but they also have blue specks in them. Okay. So I think that would be nice to, to do that. And uh, and especially, you know, if the coffee is green, it just gives like a little extra, you know, something, something, you know. And then like with the uh, I come up with an idea for a um, cock comb coffee, which is basically like a rooster coffee, um, rooster themed. But I didn't want to use the name rooster because I think there's already like a rooster coffee or whatever. So I thought it would be neat to just call it uh, a cock comb coffee. All right, with this coffee, it's going to be, uh, naturally, it's going to be uh, dyed red. It's going to have, a, like, a red dye to it. Um, it's going to have, like, a French roast with a uh, roasted sunflower, uh, like, maybe the oils from, like, roasted sunflowers that can be infused in the coffee. Like, you know, nothing overpowering, but just enough to give that little rust, roasted, nutty, sunflower nutty flavor to it. And also have it be uh, with a hint of, um, of like, milk chocolate. Have that in there, and it would just give it that little extra, mmm, you know, that, that, that yummy, creamy, chocolatey flavor in there, okay? All right, and then your uh, barista, uh, they can do like a uh, the head of a rooster with its beak and its comb that can be like the theme for that uh, cup of coffee uh, or they can do like uh, they can add like a whipped cream like with red on one side and orange on the other uh, have that on sitting on top of your coffee so I, I just think that would be like, you know, a nice touch to that. And they might can add like yellow sprinkles or something like that to it if you want. Um, all right. Now, giving like the bread area. Uh, naturally, they will have like um, personal breads uh, that have different flavors or whatever. But if you ask for like the specialty, like the peacock or the the uh, the uh, cock comb breads or whatever, they will be shaped like the peacock will, bread will be shaped like a peacock. All right. Then when once it's baked, it will be uh, covered with a green uh, butter, green dyed butter. And then it will be sprinkled, especially the area where the tail is, where the feathers are. It will be sprinkled with a with blue uh, sea salt or some type of spray. Uh, bread sprinkle that's blue colored uh, so I, I just think that would be nice and like with the uh, the uh, cock comb bread it will be shaped like a rooster and it will have um, painted with uh, red butter and maybe orange sea salt sprinkles or some type of of uh, maybe seasoning or, or, or you know Different type of bread uh, sprinkles that are maybe like orange and yellowish in color. Uh, so I, I think that would be nice. Okay. Um, so those are examples for that. And then like the confectionery areas, uh, they can come up with different ideas for uh, the, uh, you know, they, they can have like the cookies shaped like 
a peacock shaped like a rooster or whatever. And they can be like a pretty good size cookie. And they can decorate them with sprinkles and different types of, of uh, frostings that look like these animals. And that would be the specialty of you know, uh, the confectionery departments. And even like a koala bear, there can be, you know, different uh, things for that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you know, the ideas are, are like limitless with this. Um, I may make another a future video about this, uh, <laughs> what I envision as a chain um, business. Um, so, yeah, and I will give more like more details about that. But anyway, I, I don't want to keep boring people half to death with this, so I, I need to move on. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, behind that will be like a beach area. It will be like a uh, an indoor beach where people can come and they can swim. They can. There will be like a, a, a small wave maker. And uh, the uh, company can or the mall can rent out these little bitty boogie boards. And you can't bring in bo uh, surfboards or boogie boards from outside. You have to rent these little small boogie boards. And, you you know, there won't be any big surfboards or anything because, you know, you don't you don't want anything big and clunky because this is not going to be like a regular beach. But it's going to be kind of big, but it's you still got to uh, consider, you know, the people and all that and the crowd, whatever. So uh, it just be like a small little uh, boogie boards or whatever. So they would rent those out, okay? All right, you can wear your beach clothes, bathing suits, whatever, to this area, okay? But then there will also be another area that is for people that are maybe handicapped or people that don't want to get wet or whatever. And it will be kind of like a holographic room. Uh, and people can go in here and it will be, um, it will make you feel, it will look like you're in an ocean or a beach or on an island or whatever. It, the, the themes can change with time, you know, over, over the years. Um, but people can go in this room and they can get the sensation of being, you know, in a body of water or near a body of water or whatever. There will be all kinds of sounds. There may even like be, you know, strong vibrations with different things. There can be like a, you know, different things happening. Maybe ships going by, uh, you know, just all kinds of different things going on. And these things can be set to different types of vibrations. And you just get like this whole, um, you know, effect of, of being there without actually being there. So it, it just, I think it'd just be a wonderful experience and it would be fun, you know, for the, for the whole family, anybody that, that wants to do that. Okay. All right. But if you're on the beach, before you can go into the actual mall part of the rest of the, the, the mall, you have to make sure that you are properly dressed. You can wear shorts, and shirts or whatever, t-shirts, but you cannot wear your bathing suit into the other areas of the mall. So before you go into the other areas of the mall, make sure that you change back into regular clothes. And there will be like a special bathrooms uh, with showers and everything for both men and women uh, to, uh, you know, to clean themselves up after being at the beach. And that way they can go into the other part of the mall. Okay. All right. In the middle part of the first floor of the mall, uh, you know, I've stated in another video that I think definitely there would it would be nice to have like a jewelry store in this uh, part of the mall with like pinkered guards and stuff like that. I think that would be nice, a really nice touch. Um, also, you want like a video game store um, to where people can buy video games and all that. Uh, bookstore. Um, uh, you know, little restaurants here and there, maybe pe like a pizza shop, just different things like that. Um, and and uh, more of my ideas are in my uh, Franklin Mary Ma video. Uh, I, I just basically spilled out, you know, all kinds of details of what I think would be good for an inside mall. Uh, so, yeah, one can refer back to that. And if if I'm sharing this with any developers or anybody out there, I will also try to provide a link to this other video to so that you can refer to it to see what I'm talking about. Um, but I won't go into detail 
about you know about all those different types of, of shops and everything for the first floor. Uh, but th that's just kind of like the highlights. Uh, but that, and also, you know, you want toy stores and all that type of stuff in here too, candy shop, all that. Um, but anyway, all right, moving on to the left wing, if you're facing it, um, there will be uh, a skating area. I think it would be nice. I, I know uh, I've been told, you know, that I reckon Russell still has the skate rink here. Um, but I mean, it would be nice to have a skating rink in this area, this too. Because I just think it'd be fun, you know, people come into the mall, you know, they can go skating or whatever. Maybe it can be it can be anything from from roller skating to maybe to ice skating, depending on the type of money that the mall actually wanted to spend. But it would be nice if, if this could be like the state of the art um, lighting um, and have like, you know, all kinds of music for both young and old to provide, you know, a really good fun time for you know, the whole family. Uh, also, it'd be nice to have like a teen dance hall to where teens can go in the evenings and they can dance and hang out and have a good time and drink non-alcoholic beverages, uh, sodas, um, Slurpees, all that type of thing. It'd be nice to have like a Slurpee shop set up in this little dance hall to where they can get all kinds of, of Slurpees and stuff. I think that would be fun. And, and, you know, good for them and have like a bouncer or whatever to where they can kind of keep an eye on, you know, security to keep an eye on things within this to make sure nobody gets out of hand and all that. And also, naturally, the, the mall itself would need security guards, you know, need a few security guards per shift. I think it'd be a good idea maybe to open the mall from 7 to maybe 10-ish, 10-ish, 10.30-ish, 11, whatever at night, uh, depending on whatever the, the mall wants to do. Uh, but yeah, you definitely would want one to two security guards, actually two per shift at least, um, because, you know, there's quite a bit of, of uh, square footage to cover with this mall, so you definitely want more than one person walking around keeping an eye on things, okay? But anyway, I'm not trying to tell other people how to run their business. But okay, all right, behind this on this wing it would be nice to have like a bowling alley uh for families to go and and have bowling night and whatever uh also uh, a big arcade room with all kinds of different arcades from the the older type arcades all the way up to the newest type of arcades i think that would be fun um also, maybe connected into it, or maybe it can flow from this area into a rides area, a coin ride, to where you can stick coins in um, different types of rides, from the little children's rides all the way up to rides that adults can um, can ride. Uh, maybe even stuff that looks like space shuttles and uh, motorcycles and you know all kind of race cars, whatever, to where everybody can enjoy it. Um, it just you know, just be fun, sticky, you know, 50 cents or a dollar in the ride and have a good time, you know. All right. Also, it'd be nice to have a wall, a whole, a whole wall dedicated to vending machines. Okay. There can be all kinds of things done with vending machines nowadays. Uh, all one has to do is look to areas uh, in Asia like Japan and, and, uh, you know, various other uh, big uh, populated areas of Asia to get ideas for um, for different types of vending machines. I've seen all kinds of videos and, and TV shows and things like that discussing this. And I just think it'd be wonderful. It'd be a wonderful asset for the mall. I think it would be, uh, you know, like like a just something of interest and entertainment, and I think it'd bring in some extra money. I, I just think it would be a popular thing, okay? Especially, you know, if you get the right kind of vending machines in there, uh, you can really pique people's interest, okay? All right. Uh, and, of course, I think I, I, think I mentioned that um, about the bathrooms. The bathrooms would be, yeah, located from the first to the third floor near the staircases and like I said the staircases will be like in a spiral and they will be in the towers all four of the towers will have staircases in them okay but 
um, like I said, uh, first floor all the way up to third floor, the bathrooms will be located near the front two stair uh, or towers. Let's put it that way. Okay. All right. Sorry if I repeated myself. Okay. Moving on to the second floor. Okay. The second floor. Let's see. All right, in the middle part, uh, you want like your, you know, your various shops and eateries. Um, in in the middle part, you'll have, you know, different types of shops and, and stuff like that. Um, and also, you want a stage area to where uh, there can be different shows put on, uh, you know, Every week or so, there can be like different entertainers uh, come in and put on shows. It can be used for um, modeling. Uh, different companies can have like fashion shows and stuff like that. The different department stores and all that, they can have their their uh, fashion shows on this stage. Uh, also, there can be like a big play area for little kids and a bounce. You know, those bouncy uh, areas, uh, different big, huge toys and slides and things that kids can play in. This would be perfect for that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there, there's just a lot of, of different things, different shops and stuff that can be put in this. And a lot of good, fun things that can be put in this area. Okay. All right. On your uh, right wing there can be like costume shops where you can go in uh, year round and buy different types of costumes, especially for Halloween. But it can also be for, you know, St. Patrick's Day. You can buy things for New Year's, uh, you know, Easter, whatever. There can be all kinds of different outfits and costumes and, you know, dresses and all types of things that can be sold that are based around the different holidays, the different seasons, all that. Uh, they can even have things related around birthdays, all that stuff, okay? All right. Also, you can have like a dungeon maze room for kids and, of course, adults as well if they want to go and have a good time. Uh, you know, it can be set up, especially like around Halloween. It can be spooky, uh, you know, and, and they can just change up the themes and you can go in this room, walk around and, you know, either get spooked or just, you know, just you know, go through the different maze of, of attractions that are going on, okay? All right. Uh, again, you know, also there can be different types of eateries and uh, shops in this area. Uh, let's see. Um, all right, over to your left. That can be where you have like your eye center, your uh, different clinics, uh, maybe a few of the doctor's offices and stuff like that. They can be located uh, on this uh, second floor in this area, a weight center. Um, also, there can be like a medical equipment uh, shop. That can be put in this uh, area, uh, as well as a pharmacy. Um, and maybe somewhere on the second floor, there can be like a hall. As I mentioned in one in my other uh, video, there can be like an area for people to have events. Like if they're, um, you know, if they're having a birthday party or an anniversary or whatever, uh, there can be a special room to where they can uh, rent out, uh, equipment, uh, you know, they can have people bake them, uh, birthday cakes and whatever, and they can have like a reception within this, this, this hall. Uh, I think that would be a nice thing that this, um, mall could do and it would be a money maker. Okay. Alrighty. I think that's all I can think of for the second floor. Yeah, that's all that's popping in my head right now for that. Uh, let's see. Okay, moving on. All right. For the third floor, 
what will be fascinating about the third floor is it will have like a hole in the center of the floor and a balcony placed around it to where you can see from the third floor down to the second floor. I think that would be like a nice touch to it. Um, I, I just I like that. You know, I just think it'd be nice to be able to look over the balcony as long as it's uh, built where it's safe and children won't fall off or whatever. But, you know, you can look from from, you know, the third floor down to the second floor. OK. All right. And um, it would be nice to have like a uh, an uh, Asian themed restaurant put up here. Um, that would be like a nice touch because you're kind of moving into adult territory. You're moving from the teenage areas on up, like I said, to the, the adult. It's like that transitioning type thing. All right. So you go from uh, like your, your teen clothing area and then you move on into your adult clothing area on this third floor. Uh, also, there will be like an adult pool hall. Uh, in this to where only you know you have to be at least 18 years or older before you can uh, can go into this poo hall okay all right so it will be somewhere on um, on in the middle area of the second floor I mean on excuse me the third floor okay it will be on the third floor and like I said there would be different types of uh, you know clothing stores uh, between the teen and the adult. Um, also, there can be like um, different types of perfume, uh, shampoos, those types of stores like, you know, boutique type, you know, stuff like fancy high end, that type of, of shops and stuff where they sell like the really good stuff, the really good perfume, the really good shampoos and, and all that stuff. Those things will be offered up here on the third floor. Uh, also, you will have your tailor shops on your, your right wing. I think it'd be nice to have like a tailor shop for both men and women and maybe even uh, teenagers or and maybe even children. However, the, the tailor shop wants to do it, they can design you know, suits for, for everybody, basically. Okay. Also, you they will have like a suit rental area to where you can rent out different suits and stuff. Okay. All right. Then on the, uh, the left wing will be like the men and the women spas uh, where you can go in and you can be pampered. You will be... Uh, massaged and I'm talking about like decent like there will be no no foul play no no nothing bad or anything like that this would be all on the up and up um, but it would be like a wonderful place where you can just relax and you can have uh, mud baths you know different types of soaks you would just, you know, you, you can have your skin cleansed and you know just all kinds of different different body treatments that you can have done and you can spend like a whole day or whatever in this area and just be pampered you can just you know the whole the whole time you're here it's all about pampering i just think that would just be wonderful just be so nice to have a spot where both men and women can go to to do that okay Right, also in this wing can be like the men and women uh, hair and nail salons where you can go and like high end, you know, reasonably priced um, haircuts and perms and, and, you know, all kinds of the latest um, nail uh, things done. All the different nail uh, techniques out there. You can have all that done. Uh, maybe even like a tattoo shop. A high-end uh, tattoo thing. You can have both temporary tattoos as well as permanent tattoos. You know, it'd just be nice to have that. And everything has to be, you know, like I said, on the up and up. There, You have to have your credentials and all that type of thing to run these shops and spas and everything. So, you know, everything has to be good. So, I just think that would be nice to have that offered on the third floor. 
And that way, you know, this mall can offer something for everyone. You can have your entertainment, your relaxation, and your shopping. And there'll be plenty of places where people can sit down and rest. All kinds of tables and chairs and all that to where you can just, you know, you can rest and then you can go back at it when you want to. Uh, I just think an inside mall is better anyway than something that's just on the outside uh, because it will give people places to sit down and rest and then continue on. And it will keep people shopping. I mean, that's the whole point, you know. It's just so much better than just shopping outlets where you have to drive up, park your car, and then go from this uh, shopping thing and walk all the way down to this other area. And, you know, there's no place to really sit down. You can't walk around inside from one department to the other. You have to go back outside and then go back into another store. And then, you know, naturally, you probably have to go put your bags in your car, you know, to go to a new shop or new store or whatever. And it's just to me, it's just more aggravating. Um, you know, I just I just think an inside mall is always better, in my opinion. You know, you're outside. You know, with these shopping outlets and all kinds of bad weather and whatever. Whereas if you're on the inside of a mall, you know, you're out of the element. You know, your your body is at the right temperature at all times. So, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. And then now for the roof. Okay. On the roof, I think it would be nice, I, as I have stated in a... In my previous Mary Mile video, it would be nice to have like a garden center that, ha you know, it's like a greenhouse and it's in uh, they they sell you seeds, even like exotic seeds that you don't normally buy around here, uh, you know, from coconuts to, you know, you name it, uh, just different types of, you know, tropical uh uh, trees to bushes to flowers whatever they they can sell all the seeds here and they can sell plants up to a certain height like because you have to think about uh, getting your plant from the roof of this mall down to your car naturally you're not going to want to haul a big tall plant <laughs> from you know a roof uh, all the way to your car so I think there should be like a limit on how tall the plant is that they sell to where you're not toting some big heavy plant around. It's it's not going to be too cumbersome. So, yeah, I just, you know, so as long as, as the plants or the trees or whatever are, aren't over a certain height, like they can just be baby trees, you know, in their younger, younger stages uh, or adult dwarf trees or whatever, as long as they're they're small enough to where the average person can just tote it around without any problem, then I think that should be sold here. I just think it'd be nice to have it on the roof in a nice um, uh, kind of like elongated dome type building that on the inside they have like their their lights for a greenhouse like an indoor greenhouse and like i said they have all their their seeds and and you know anything that you can buy that you can carry <laughs> from the roof down to your car outside okay if like if you get like over a certain amount then maybe they could have someone on staff to take it down for you maybe they can offer that service to where you know if you're getting like a bunch of items then they can just they can load your stuff up on a on a uh, cart or something and they can haul it down for you you know as as an extra service and everything okay all right also beside this on the on the the right wing of this uh mall would be nice to have like a Hawaiian themed uh, shop to where they can sell like all kinds of Hawaiian type drinks, uh, tropical drinks that are like slushies and stuff like that. And they just got this wonderful, awesome flavor and can have all kinds of ranges of flavors. Uh, I just think that would be nice to be offered here, as well as different clothing items from Hawaii that are Hawaiian tropical themed. Um, they can maybe, you know, just uh, sell all kinds of different trinkets that are based around Hawaii. 
uh, musical instruments, just, you know, just different things, diff different things that you can think of, all kinds of trinkets and doodads and everything that are tropical and Hawaiian themed. I just think, ooh, that would be nice, you know, and just imagine you could buy all kinds of posters and calendars and all kinds of things that, you know, are based around this Hawaiian tropical ocean themed type thing um it'd be nice you know just be neat um mike can even buy uh i don't know boogie boards or surfboards as long as you can tote them <laughs> tote them you know or they might can offer a service where they can they'll carry it down for you or something and maybe they can have like people famous people from hawaii like famous surfers or whatever to come and visit and maybe sign stuff and all that, that would be kind of nice. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, moving on. All right. In the center part of the roof, there will be a lounging area where you can hang out, you can lounge, and they can even have these, uh, uh, I guess, binocular type uh, devices that are, are, are uh pinned down to to the roof itself but you can swing them around and move them whatever and you can like look out over the city at night or whatever or during the day whatever uh and you can look up at the sky with them and you can just have all kinds of fun with these things but it'd just be a nice lounging area with tables and chairs you know stuff that's kind of heavy that won't blow off like when a wind comes it's pretty much stationary to the building uh naturally you want good drainage on the building to where there won't be like a, uh water uh puddles or anything uh on the roof you want all the water to drain off um and you want like con uh, different types of, I guess, tile or concrete or whatever to make it pretty, but make it to where it's slick proof, uh, to where, you know, you won't have to, you know, the mall won't have to worry too much about people slipping and falling or whatever. It grips the, the shoes really well and all that. So, yeah, just be nice to have that. Uh, and also a family restaurant. Maybe this can be like a steak top. Uh, steakhouse or a buffet type uh, restaurant to where you know the family can go and have a really good night out and all that uh yeah it, it'd be a place to where you'd want to take you know your favorite people to you know that type of restaurant i think that'd be nice okay all right moving on to the uh the left wing of the building if you're facing it um I think it'd be nice to have like a bar and grill in this area, like a sports bar to where people that enjoy sports or whatever, they can go here, they can drink their beer, they can eat their sliders, their different, you know, different sports uh, oriented foods, wings, all that type of thing. Like the, the, this, um, this restaurant could be like they could own that, like they can just, you know, that, that, that sports type of food. That's their, their specialty, and they can have, like, all kinds of dips and all that type of stuff to where people can go. And, they, like, big screen TVs where people can go and, and, and watch their sports and, and eat all this stuff. And maybe even have, like, a video game section to where adults can sit around and play, you know, the latest uh, PlayStation 4 games on, you know, whatever they got loaded up in their system or whatever. I think that would be cool. You know, it'd be nice. Uh, I mean, I'm not really into sports myself, but I know that there's a lot of people around here who are. And I think they would love to have a place like this to go to. So, yeah, it'd just be nice. So, and, and like I said, the the bathrooms for the roof, they will be located within the, um, the uh, restaurants and maybe even the greenhouse garden center. That's where the bathrooms will be located on the roof. So, yeah. But that pretty much, uh, I think, gets that, you know. So I hope you guys like this. I really hope that people would be on board with having such a, um, a mall. Uh, I just, you know, I just think it'd be nice. You know, something different, 
You know, and I mean, who wouldn't want to walk up in a castle? I mean, my goodness, I would love that. I think that would be so wonderful. Just be nice, you know, and pretty and yeah. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.